Hey everyone and welcome to our very first video. Thank you so much for tuning in and joining our brand new resources. We have created these videos for you to be able to connect with God while you're perhaps online um, and sitting at home. Because we are aware that most of your youth groups and church gatherings are probably cancelled. But that doesn't mean that you can't learn more about Jesus and connect with God. So we really hope that these videos will inspire you and equip you. So please stay tuned in. So let's kick off with our first week. And this week we're going to be talking about the obvious that is happening around our world today. It's very important that we don't just ignore what is happening, that we talk about it, we reflect on it, and think how can we respond to everything that is going around us. So this week we're going to be talking around the fear and anxiety that most of us are probably feeling around these times. And it's crazy to think what is happening in our world today. A couple of months ago, a couple of weeks ago, none of us thought we would be experiencing what we're experiencing right now. It's literally all happening right in front of our eyes. We need to make sure that we all deal with it in somehow, but we need to make sure that we deal with it in a very positive and a healthy way. And if I would ask you, what are your fears? What are you fearful of right now? Some of you might say, I don't know what's going to happen with my school life, with my college life, what's going to happen with my exams, with my grades. Some of you are probably can't even see your friends. Most of you probably didn't even have a chance to say goodbye to some of your school friends before you go into college. And it's crazy to think all of this is changing and it's changing so quickly and it's exhausting to be living in that constant fear all the time. So how can we live under so much pressure that is taking place in our world, in our communities, in our homes, in our own lives? How do we make sure that we don't give in to that fear? And firstly, I want to tell you as somebody who knows God, who loves God, I want to tell you that fear and anxiety are not from God. He never created for you and me to be living in fear. So let's be people who do not give in to the fear. I know there'll be many people around the world today who feel full anxious, who feel full worried, which is entirely understandable. And it's fine if you feel fearful as well. Please never feel guilty for feeling those emotions. It's absolutely fine. God created you and me. He created us with emotions and feelings. But we need to make sure that we don't give in to those fears. And we can read in Bible, which is God's word, we can read many characters there who gave in to the fear. For example, as one of Jesus' disciples, Peter, when Jesus asked him to walk on a water, he straight away fell into the sea because of his fear and lack of trust in Jesus. We need to make sure that this week and next couple of weeks and probably months ahead, that we are not a people who live out of fear, that we don't make decisions out of fear, that we don't speak out of fear. Perhaps when you're posting things online, make sure that you do that out of love and out of hope and out of peace. Make sure you don't um, speak out of fear and how you're perhaps feeling right now. And secondly, I want to tell you that trusting God changes absolutely everything, but worrying doesn't change anything. And I know some of you will feel worried, which is fine. And I know I am as well. But I know when I'm worried, and I know that I worry a lot. And when I'm worried and kind of stressed about something, I will focus on that one particular thing. And it's like nothing else around me matters at that point. But we need to make sure that we kind of shift that focus away from those things that we're worried about. That we lift our eyes up and we look at God because he can take all those things away. It doesn't matter how we're feeling, our God still says the same. And we can read in Isaiah chapter 40 verses 10. Do not be afraid, for I'm with you. I'm your God. Let nothing terrify you. I'll make you strong and help you. I will protect you and save you. Jesus said it himself, do not panic because I'm with you. I'm right there beside you. So make sure you have confidence in him. And we have created a couple of questions at the back of this video for you to go through. And perhaps talk to somebody at home or somebody from your church or youth group. Or maybe there's a friend that you trust that you can just call and you can just chat these things through and pray together. So the first question is, how do you feel around everything that is happening around our world today? Secondly, what are the things that you're really afraid of? What are the things that you feel worried about? And thirdly, how perhaps coronavirus has affected you? And then also chat 
about? What does it mean to not give in to that fear? What does it mean to, instead of leaning into that fear, to lean into God? And are you somebody who leans into the fear or leans into the God? So thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope it's been encouraging for you. Make sure you stay open, that you chat with people next to you. But the most importantly, make sure that you do not give in to that fear, but lean into God. Thank you so much and see you on Wednesday.